हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू द टेट्रा हेड्रोन केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन द रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म एंड आईआर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एंड यू कैन सी योर क्वेश्चन हियर व्हाट द क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग यू हैव बीन गिवन दिस पर्टिकुलर कंपाउंड व्हिच इज नथिंग बट अ अल्कोहल एंड इट इज अ टर्शियरी अल्कोहल ओके एंड दिस टर्शियरी अल्कोहल आई वेंट ट्रीटेड विद द कंसंट्रेटेड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड इट गिव्स द थ्री प्रोडक्ट्स 1 2 एंड 3 Identify the product one, two, and three. How IR spectroscopy is useful to distinguish one, two, and three. So for for this, you should understand uh, this concentrated sulfuric acid is basically the dehydrating agent. So basically, this reaction is the dehydration of the alcohol, which is the example of the elimination reaction. Okay. And in your semester examination, I have discussed the elimination. Uh, sorry, in your semester classes, I have discussed. Uh, this de uh, dehydration of alcohol and pretty much detail but today i am going to discuss this another problem this may be helpful in your upcoming examination so how the reaction goes basically so what i can do i can write this alcohol here okay so you can write oh and this is ch3 this is your another ch3 okay and uh, i am writing that ch3 like that ch3 like that and you know on the oxygen i am having the two lone pairs okay and i am treating this with what uh, you are concentrated sulfuric acid that mean h positive okay as in the acidic medium so what can happen uh, your this electron pair can grab this proton and when it grabs this particular proton it will it will it can give you the protonated alcohol that mean now you are having this species okay and here you see you are you are having oh2 with a positive sign because one of the lone pair uh, which actually was present on the nitrogen oxygen atom uh, as formed bond with the hydrogen atom so it is the oxygen is electron deficient now okay that's why the positive charge is over there this is ch3 this is ch3 this is your protonated alcohol right and uh, this protonated alcohol what you can do because you are using the dehydrating agent and it is giving you the three product okay so i am forming three different carbocations here so how i can form the carbocations uh, elimination of water molecule will occur from here that mean this water uh, this uh, h2o will be removed and you know the oxygen originally in the water molecule will have the two lone pair so it will take this electron pair along with itself okay so here minus h2o you can write and this is again you can write the minus h2o and again you can write the minus h2o okay and uh, uh, say uh, what pro what you are getting actually in that case in the first in all the cases basically right you are getting only this species in all the three cases you are get, getting this species this is ch3 so i am writing uh, ch3 like that okay i have to remove this bond from here okay and uh, this is now having the positive charge over there and this is having ch3 right so whether you actually uh, in all the cases actually right so why i have drawn these three arrows because it will give you the three different kinds of the product so first product what it can give you however i made the things little complicated but say uh, i am saying that uh, path 1 i am following the path 1 okay say i am following the path 1 path 1 you suggest that like that this uh, these are the three hydrogens uh, so what i can do i can write my hydrogens in different way okay mm -hmm. like that 1 2 and 3 so this is hydrogen this is hydrogen and this is hydrogen okay so what can happen Uh, your HSO4 negative, which was present or originally, actually this HSO4 uh, coming from here actually. Initially you were having the H2SO4, and the cell actually giving you the H positive and HSO4 negative. Okay, this is one way of explaining actually, right? So what can happen? This negative charge can grab the 
hydrogen from here as proton and this bond will come here and then you will have your first product and your product would look like that this is your cyclohexane ring and this is your double bond CH2 okay and uh, say this is your CH3 so this is your product 1 and if you follow the path 2 so if you are following the path 2 so I am using the different color right so in part 2 what can happen you know this hydrogen is also here this one hidden hydrogen is also here because carbon is tetravalent okay and this this is actually you see uh, this is your uh, if this is the carbon this is one this is two this is three that means originally a hydrogen is here so again uh, from this beta position you can remove this hydrogen from here right and again uh, for this you will take that acid which is your HSO4 negative so this HSO4 negative will grab this hydrogen and it will put this double bond here back in, into the ring and you will have this species just like that CH3 originally it will retain here and this is your CH3 here and this is the double bond okay again you can see here this CH3 is here and this CH3 was originally present here and you have removed the hydrogen from this beta position and it is pushing this electron pair here so you are getting the second alkene okay and now if you follow the path 3 okay so I can write path 3 and for path 3 uh, say I am using the red color however red is the very red color is not a very good option here so you can see here uh, uh, you have removed hydrogen from here you have removed hydrogen from this beta position this is first beta position you have removed hydrogen from here this, uh, this is another beta position you have removed hydrogen from here now you left with this beta position okay so what you can do you can you can remove hydrogen from here also it is having the two hydrogens over there okay and say you are having HSO4 negative so this HSO4 negative will grab this particular hydrogen and this electron pair would be pushed back to this position and you will have this product this CH3 and this CH3 and this double bond here so ultimately actually what is happening here due to this dehydration of the alcohol which is the elimination reaction you are getting the three different product so if I actually uh, number them so you can write this as product 1 okay you can write this as product 2 and you can write this as product 3 okay now how IR spectroscopy is useful this is something very very important see if you go for your carbon double bond carbon uh, stretch it will not give you the very good information that means stretching of carbon double bond carbon will not give you the very good information about the structures right you cannot distinguish between them similarly if you want to actually uh, if you if you check your CH uh, your CH stretch for methyl again it will not give you the very important information you have to check for the bending vibrations okay you have to check for the bending vibrations of the CH which is connected to the double bond you have to check this now I am telling you if you if you see this uh, structure one right in this structure one you are having this terminal methyl group this, that means the benzene uh, the double bond is not present into the benzene into the ring it is present outside the ring this is the exocyclic double bond you know the exocyclic double bond I have discussed in uh, your uh, UV visible spectroscopy okay this is exocyclic double bond and whenever you have this uh, terminal methyl group right so this terminal methyl group basically give you the absorption peak so uh, this will give you they say uh, CH stretch I am talking so, sorry CH band I am talking about the CH band and this CH band of terminal alkene okay this will absorb somewhere around 890 centimeter inverse 
so if you write that uh, this ch stretch actually right so uh, this ch stretch would be somewhere around it 890 cm inverse okay now moving to the next one see this is perfectly tetra, tetra see perfectly tetra symmetric you see uh, this double bond is here and there, there is no hydrogen present here there is no hydrogen present here when you are not having any hydrogen that means you cannot have the absorption band band at 890 cm inverse that means this 890 cm inverse will be absent in the perfectly tetra symmetric alkene this, this this will not give you this particular band so this is absent here okay so this is how you can differentiate in uh, between these two first and second now come to the third one this third one basically is the tri substituted you see this is one this is two this is three and if you check one hydrogen is there that mean this ch stretch must be there and you know this double bond is in within the ring whenever the bond is within uh, in, into the ring it actually decreases uh, the vibrational frequency the value of the vibrational frequency so it will resonate somewhere around at 800 20 cm inverse so its bending vibration will come at 820 cm inverse so this is how you can differentiate between these three compounds and this may be the important problem for your upcoming examination so that's it for today thank you thank you very much